All Hands Update recently spoke with the Chief of Naval Personnel, Vice Admiral Scott Van Buskirk, to discuss topics of concern to the fleet. One of the topics was performed to serve. He said through the PTS fleet working group, sailors have voiced changes that they want to see, and he's listening. They want improvements to PTS so they can know sooner in the cycle about whether they have a quote or not. They want to know when they can, uh, do they have opportunities to convert to another rating? Do they have an opportunity to stay in the service in the reserves? And I think we owe that to them. We owe that, and so as a result of that, we continue to make the changes to PTS, and that's the beauty of PTS, the flexibility that we have in that program. Admiral Van Beskirk also said that he and his office are working to make those wants become the reality of PTS. We have some changes coming up here in the very near future to ensure that we do, we move that choice and that, that uh, uh, acknowledgement of the choice of the quota earlier in the cycle so our, to re, re, uh, reduce some of the angst associated with what we're hearing from our sailors as I go out to engage that, uh, that they're seeing in there and that we need to give them the opportunity to, to understand when they have the quotas and when they don't so they can make the choices and make the decisions that they need to make for, the, for them and for their families. CNP also said that sailors shouldn't count on an end to PTS anytime soon. I think the great thing about Perform to Serve is the flexibility that that program offers us. Uh, I think it is a sound program, a very good program, and the one that we're going to continue to uh, execute to. For more information on PTS, go to mpc.navy.mil or see your command career counselor. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Matthew Halls.